What's up, guys? Pastor Rob here with another reaction video. As usual, I have Gage with me. What's up? And as usual, we're going to be reacting to a song requested by you guys in the comment section of our videos. Should I be saying that? Because we're not actually doing that. Are we? Actually, oh, no, we're not actually. Today, we're doing something different. We are doing a four song marathon reaction. Uh -huh. Well, they're going to be four separate videos, but we're going to be doing four in a row here in the studio. Mm -hmm. And these four songs are selected off the albums that we gave away in our 50K subscriber giveaway. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have four, four videos we're shooting today, which should be real fun. We're going to upload and premiere them all at the same time and join you guys live uh, on YouTube's premiere feature, I guess it's called. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So we'll be in the comment section live or the live comments or however it works. Uh, so stay tuned for that. This is not an endorsement of the artist, the song, or the genre as a whole, but an attempt to create discussion and encourage discernment while listening to music. For additional resources related to the channel, please visit PastorRobReacts.com. For song number one in our 50K subscriber giveaway four song marathon, we have Demon <laughs> You're Hunter. You're trying to hit that word limit, aren't you? That's pretty good. I like it. It's, it I don't know. It's good. It's like me when I have to write essays. For song number one in our 50K giveaway, reaction for what song? <laughs> All right. The first song in our four song marathon is the song Raining Down by Demon Hunter off their album Outlive. Mm -hmm. uh, this one goes to Mason Beard of Indiana. It's a pretty good last name, huh? don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I like it. Hey, hey, you know, I, I should change my name to Robert Beard. Nah. No? Pastor Beard. Nah. You got you got enough beard. <laughs> oh, yeah, too much beard to, to go around here. All right, so this is off of a vinyl. That's why you see the turntable sitting in front of us. Look at that pretty thing. Woo! Mm -hmm. That thing is gorgeous. Love those colors. And look at the vinyl itself. Wow. Can you all see that thing? Ooh. That's cool. Oh. I like that. So it's on side C. Let's put this thing here like this. And it is song number two on that side. Wow. I like the tone of that guitar. I like the synth. Mm, maybe that's, oh yeah, I hear it. Man. Pretty good, yeah. Quite different from Jesus Web, I feel like. You're right.
like that. That's cool. kind of want to keep listening i know that's really good yeah what'd you think overall i liked it i know you're rocking out over there yeah um it was good it was different from jesus wept i felt like it was more melodic Mm -hmm. and surprisingly catchy it was it kind of reminded me of uh some of in flames uh material like the way they had the harmonized guitars blended in with the synths Hmm. Pretty good. Don't know if you're familiar with them, but they have a similar style. Well, they uh, did anyway. I'm not familiar with anything you just said, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> I'm sure somebody out there is like, man, this, this, he's right. Hmm. Well, to me, it's, it was wonderful. I, I, I enjoyed the heck out of it. I like that guitar switch, too, when it went to that sort of, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I need to work on my music vocabulary, but you know what part I'm talking mm-hmm. about. And then it came back in with the harder guitar. Mm-hmm. It kind of gave me that, that 80s summer vibe. With the synths and everything, true. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I could see it the soundtrack of an '80s movie where like the guys are going out for the evening and it's like raining down, you know, <laughs> mm, a bunch I, of metal dudes yeah. going like to the mall or something. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a knock on the song. Imagine but. these guys. Imagine running into these guys at like a mall or something. <laughs> That'd be kind of scary. Uh, especially, yeah, I see the singer with his beard, too, boy. Good night. <laughs> you, you sure like beards. Are you insinuating something? <laughs> I like beards. I do. That's why I have one. There's a one cool, two cool guys in the band right in this picture. <laughs> well, I certainly enjoyed the song, uh, for sure. Um, you know, it, it, what I liked, the, the first verse, um, it, it was really hard to figure out what he was talking about in the overall song, other than some of the stuff I, I read in the comment sections. Um, in in the chorus, it says, it may be calm for now, oh, but somewhere else it's raining down. Mm. Under the promise of a dark and heartless sky, raining now. We know the flood is coming, don't close your eyes. Now he starts the song off with this, the, it says the balance, the path is made, nothing standing in my way, so it's sort of this hopeful start. Mm. And then we make our own path, and everything becomes fragile and starts to fall apart out from under us, and it, and it goes into that that uh, chorus. So saying, even if you're hearing this and you're not, you're you're having a pretty good time. Mm-hmm. It's coming. Hmm. The flood's coming. Uh, Ryan, the singer, said. Um, uh, it, 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 he said, when the sun is shining in our lives, it's important to remember that it's raining down upon someone else. It can be difficult to truly see outside yourself, especially when everything seems to be coming up roses. Mm -hmm. When we suffer, we expect the world to stop and suffer with us. But when we're basking in the glow of good fortune, we're often blind to those whose lives are in turmoil. This song is a reminder to myself, as much as anyone else, to be mindful at all times of the difficulties others face. Hmm. I really like the meaning. Yeah, that's that's a really good meaning. So while you may yeah. be celebrating a victory, somebody's uh, suffering a defeat. Mm-hmm. Um, a, a story that comes to mind is when I was a chaplain at Orange County Jail. Mm-hmm. Um, you were, I don't know, maybe six or seven or something like that around that time. Mm-hmm. We were broke. I mean, seriously, yeah. you know, a, a, a self-supported chaplain doesn't make 
any money, much less enough money to support uh, a large family. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was so broke one day. But me, me, mind you, it was a passion for me to be in there with the inmates, sharing biblical truth and, and preaching in, in chapel. So yeah. I loved being there. I spent all my days there, and I made n- n- probably less than minimum wage if you were to average it all out. Mm. But one day I was, I hadn't been able to really buy food. I uh, fed you guys, of course. Mm-hmm. And one day we were um, in the office with some of the other you know, volunteers and stuff, and, and one of the head volunteers had asked me, he says, hey, man, you mind running down to the, uh, you know, there's like a food area down there where we can pick up food, mm-hmm. which is an inter- interesting experience because inmates are making it for the staff, so it's kind of weird. Yeah. Um, they, you know, they don't, if they have a, a bone to pick with you, mm-hmm. <laughs> you might have something in your food. But mm-hmm. So I'm like, sure, yeah, I go down there, I pick it up, and I get some extra chips and all the stuff, and he's bringing it up to him, and he, and he sat there and ate it in front of me. And I'm sitting there thinking, I am so starving right now. He, every last, I watched him take his chips. He's dipping it and scraping the side of the mashed potatoes. And I'm just, I mean, I'm literally, my stomach is eating itself inside out. Wow. Yeah. That's not a knock on that person. I could have said, hey, man, I'm hungry or nothing. True. But mm-hmm. the point was, is he, that was nothing to him to be able to eat that food. And I couldn't afford the three or four dollars it was yeah. for me to buy some food for myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's kind of a trite example considering some of the major things that are happening, like we live in America where things are wonderful mm-hmm. on a daily basis, and there's third world countries where people haven't eaten in days. So yeah, I understand my, my example is not, you know. True. But I understand that's just an example that has happened to you firsthand. Yeah, and it's one of many, many times I could think in life where, where somebody was having really good fortune and I was struggling. Yeah. And there's times where I'm having good fortune and somebody's mm-hmm. struggling. So it, it's, it's, it's very, very important to remember. Um, the song overall, you know, it only had a couple verses, and the chorus was the main focus of the song and that main point. Mm-hmm. Um, in, in verse two, he made a, a, a subtle reference to God um, as, as our shelter. He said, The solace, the serenade, every season in its place, the shelter, the only name holding misery at bay. Mm. So, again, the shelter is, is a reference to God. Yeah. Psalm 62 says, my salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Now, a refuge is just a shelter that protects us. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a safe place. And when we go through these storms of life, even though I was hungry that day, I was, I was, I was comforted uh, through Christ, knowing obviously, that I had salvation. I know it's a weird thing to mm-hmm. think about when you're starving, but really, when you put everything in perspective, it's a major, major blessing. Mm-hmm. Major blessing. Now, God being our refuge doesn't mean we won't experience trials. Yeah. Again, I was a chaplain preaching the gospel five, six days a week, mm-hmm. sharing biblical truth, teaching the Bible to mm-hmm. these people as a volunteer. Mm-hmm. And, and I experienced hunger. Uh, we we know even Jesus when he when he called the disciples out onto onto the boat and into the water on in Matthew eight mm-hmm. storm came raging yeah Jesus calmed that storm mm-hmm. Jesus knew the storm was coming and still let's go because he's got you and he's got me I'm eating today mm-hmm. ultimately so um, if you don't know Jesus as your refuge please shoot me a message. Uh, hit me up on Facebook. I'll have all the links down in the description. Well, that wraps up another video for us. Thank you guys for joining us. This is just the first video in our marathon of four songs that we're going to do here tonight. Mm -hmm. The second song is going to be by August Burns Red. It's also going to be on vinyl, so Mm -hmm. stay tuned and check that one out. There will be a link to a playlist in the description of this video, so you can check out the entire marathon if you'd like to. Uh, And we'll just, I don't know, we'll see you on the next video. I'm going to end it. Peace.